For that, I have Kaylee. She's a Wheaton, and she's getting a Neaton. <laughs> in pretty good shape. Well, sometimes you're matted. Alright, so then I'm not doing a full haircut. I'm just gonna brush her out, scissor her a little bit, do her feet. Nails pad Sani. Oh, I should make this like a left-handed cleaning video. Who's a lefty out there? I only know one other one. So I'm going to show a little bit how I scissor with my left hand because I'm not doing much on her. I'm just going to fluff her up a little bit better and then show everyone how I scissor with my left hand and what angles I use. She already was blow dried with the force dryer but I'm just going to get a couple little damp spots. Especially because she's a Neaton and uh, she needs to be completely straight. Good girl. And I don't like your head color dry. I'm just gonna do your feet. So I always do the nails pad Sani first. She doesn't have much to come off because she's here a lot, I think every three weeks or four weeks. Oh, all right, I'm going to do her pass. Actually, pretty short. If there's a nail that is too short, I skip it. It's usually the two middles that are always the longest, and it seems like the end nails bleed the most. So these two middles are long, no? Good girl. All right, so. Let me brush her first. Yeah, I'm gonna brush you. Her hair's getting real long. This should have been a haircut, look at this. Mm -hmm. This might be matted next time. I know you don't like your face done. Are you gonna be down to the floor one day? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna comb her out and then scissor her. So first I'm going to start with one leg. This one right here. Oh, it's going to be a couple mess. So here's one. I'm just going to thin it because it's really teeny. It's bigger than I thought. Oh my goodness. She felt matte free, but once you get the comb, you have to get this comb through. A lot of pet parents don't realize that we have to get this through the entire dog. So when they bring their dog in and they say, oh, I don't feel any mats. I don't think they were putting this through their entire dog. So after I shave the pads, I finish scissoring anything I missed. I kind of hold like this. I 
Then I put the foot back down. Da, da, da. And since it's a knee-in, we're just gonna do a very light trim. I'm just getting the pokies to make it look a little bit more clean cut. Rounding the feet. And this leg is pretty much done already. Did you hear my tummy growling? I'm hungry. I didn't eat breakfast. So there's some mats in her skirt since the comb isn't going through so I'm gonna thin that I'm gonna try to find the culprit which it's so tiny I can barely feel but I think I got it right here and there's still more very tiny ones You're so good, Kaylee. You're so good. Is he on the Oh, yeah, he's right there. Let's go. Come on, you gotta get your tubby. Oh, all right. Uh -huh. <laughs> he wants to stay in here with us. Max, you gotta get your tubby. You gotta get your oh, tubby. Max, let's go. Max, oh, my go. gosh. Oh, <laughs> Max. <laughs> It's like I wanted to hang with the ladies. Oh my gosh. Let's go get it back. Alright, so I'm almost done neatening up her skirt. I got the mats out. I'm gonna do this front leg. Wait. So again, since I'm a lefty, I just lift the paw like this and scissor underneath. Everyone has to find what position they're mostly comfortable in. But basically everyone I taught how to groom was a righty, so it could get a little confusing. So I'm just getting this mat out. There's another one. I'm gonna just finish the this front leg. Then I'm gonna do the other side and then I'm gonna come back to do her head, which isn't much. She's used to get a fall, but now her mom wants to fall off and then she changes her mind sometimes. So sometimes she gets a fall and then sometimes she says, take it off. So no fall today. It was last fall when she wanted a fall. Right, Kaylee? It's kind of annoying when they, when they grow out though. So, cause it goes in their eyes and it looks sloppy. So usually when you're gonna grow a fall out, you should just grow it all the way out. And it takes a while. Come on, almost done, baby. You're already almost done. You're in pretty good shape, only a few mats. So I'm just gonna round, actually let me back that up. I'm gonna round her foot. Sometimes you can lift the foot or you could do it while they're... Twinkie just walked in. Or you could just do it while they're standing. Every dog is different. Right, Kaylee? Right? You're so cute. Or you can see, so you can lift it and get anything you missed. Scissor it a little bit. Who's that? Oh, I found 
another mat right in the tuck up. Of course, I'm finding more mats as I go over again, so that's why it's always good to, you know, go over them to make sure you got them all. Alright, I'm gonna do her other side and come back to do her head. And also, this is Lisa grooming Cusco. And we're gonna do a video together soon. Can't wait. Right, Coos? Alright, are you ready to get your head done? Look at that pretty girl. Alright, so we're not doing much to this head. I actually did start just scissoring around the ears. You always want to hold the leather in between your fingers before you scissor. Even though it was a neaten, I still did a lot of scissoring. To me, it still kind of is like a full groom if you're basically scissoring all the legs and doing a whole head. But we call it a neaten. Alright, so now I'm going to brush out her face, comb it out, come here, and look at her lashes, how long they are. They're really skinny little lashes, oh wait. Oh, here's Lisa almost done with Cusco. Today is Saturday, and a blizzard is coming. They said more snow than we've gotten in two years. Are you ready for snow? Are you ready? I do personally love the snow. I know everyone hates it. So I think we're closing on Tuesday. Are you ready for snow? Are you ready for snow? I don't know. It's the end of January of 2021. Oh, it's the 29th. Uh, 31st? Well, it's almost February. And I hope the groundhog sees his shadow. Wait, is it winter more if they see their shadow? I, I actually don't know. I don't like that hog. <laughs> he, he always disappointed us. He never knows what he wants. No, he doesn't. Alright, so I'm going to thin her eye corners. I'm going to try to avoid cutting these lashes. I just want to be able to see you. Come on. So I'm thinning her eye corners. Some people shave eye corners, but I like it to look more natural when you shave. You kind of like see the skin too much. So we usually only... We usually only thin eye corners. If she had a fall, I would not be doing this, but her mom doesn't want her to have a fall anymore. She only likes to have a fall in the fall. Right, Kiwi? All right, so that, let's see. Come here. And this is the best comb I've ever had. Oh, there's mats. I have to brush better and clean that. Lise, what's this comb called? It's a finishing comb. But where did you get this from? Where did I get Affordable this from? Affordable grooming shears. Affordable grooming shears. AffordableGroomingShears.com and this is the best finishing comb I ever used in my life. Um, I have to... Uh, let me see if there's a lot of mats. Come here, they didn't, they didn't feel like it, but... Plus it's a tiny bit damp still, but she won't let me blow dry her head. So let me slowly try to find any mats. Don't worry! I don't actually think there is a lot. I think it was just this side. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Plus, since it's a little bit damp, it's just harder to get the comb through. But it's actually not too bad. Right? Good 
Look at your pretty eyelashes. I'm gonna loosen it up with the brush. Good girl. You're almost done. You're almost done. And then you're gonna get all matted playing in the snow with your new puppy your mama got. So yeah, I keep on the tiniest little pin mats. Owners usually can't find pin mats because they're not going over their dogs with this. Even if they're just brushing their dogs, you can't tell that you're just going right over the mats. That's why we have to use this. So when someone says her dog isn't matted, I give them the comb test. Come here, she doesn't like her chin held. Come here. Uh -oh. I'm gonna thin a little bit because there are still a couple more pin mats in here. Dogs sometimes don't like us holding their chins, but we have to usually because it's safer that way. So that's why we do it. So I'm just gonna thin her face all over. Because her mom wants her natural and long. Come here. Yay, Wait. my coffee's here. All right, here's my coffee. Thanks for getting me coffee, Ange. You're welcome. Just gonna thin it a tiny bit more, trim her chin, and then she's gonna be all done. You're almost done. Almost done. Let me just hold your chin for one sec, okay? No, honey. No, no. You don't have to let me for one more minute. And then you get to go home to see your new puppy. Hold on. Lisa's still working on Cusco. You're a beast. We should do a video on you next time, Cusco. All right, so let me just trim your chinny a tiny bit. Look, come on. Okay. Pretty bow. You might not even need the big one. All right, she's all done. Look, show everyone how pretty you are. Good girl. All right, so you're all done. Say thanks for watching. See you next time. Cusco's done. Oh, but Lisa just missed one spot. Look at that handsome boy. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. Looks like it's snowing already. There you go.